Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have a big new rumor to talk about coming out of the LCS. This one comes from LCS Eevee. Um, of course, uh, with all rumors, take everything with a grain of salt. Um, I don't know. Eevee has definitely gotten some stuff right this offseason. He's definitely gotten some stuff wrong or had rumors that have fallen through, whatever. Um, you know, his Twitter is not like Wulu's at this point where, hey, most of the stuff Wulu's putting out, especially on Twitter, is like done deals, pretty much everything's come to fruition, all that stuff. Eevee still, you know, early on in the career, like I said, take it with a grain of salt, but here's at least the info he has thrown out to us. He said, FlyQuest starting LCS 80 carry for 2023 will likely be Prince. He played for Live Sandbox in the LCK. I am 90.01% sure of this. So even, you know, Eevee himself is casting some doubt on this. Also trying to protect his ass a little bit, which is good and bad. I mean, if he's you're in a position like him where you're trying to be a leaker, rumor guy, whatever, you know, you got to put shit out. You got to be confident. And if you're not confident, then, you know, I, I don't know. It's hard. You do walk a fine line, but it's just like, I know I kind of get on Travis and people get on Travis a lot of times. He's like, oh, I'm just putting out like predictions or whatever. Like, uh, this kind of has that energy, but whatever. Uh, I feel it. You know, he doesn't want all the backlash. He says, I am not confirming this. However, multiple people have told me the same thing. And like when you put out a tweet like this, you're kind of having your cake and eating it too. Cause like, hey, you're putting out some news. And if it happens, you're like, oh, it happens. And if it doesn't happen, you're like, oh, hey guys, I was only 90.01. I said I was not confirming it. Like, I don't know. I don't really love the half ass shit like this, but whatever. Um, so we have to, you know, operate under the premises of, hey, he could be wrong. He's not confirming this. But if this is true, uh, or hey, let's even say it is true or whatever, um, Prince could potentially be coming over to FlyQuest, and this would be an absolutely insane pickup. Now, I don't watch a ton of the LCK. You know, I mostly watch MSI, World, all that stuff. Every once in a while, uh, if I'm up real late or I see a game's on or I, a replay comes up on YouTube, I'll watch some LCK, but I didn't see a ton of it. But from what people are saying, Prince is a top, I don't know, four, three, top two 80 carry in the LCK this past year, um, which is crazy how he would end up coming to North America. I don't really understand how all of a sudden uh, the LCS is getting some of these prospects uh, or, or players because obviously once upon a time, the LCS would get top players, but it would be more on like the middle of their career or the back end of their career, or whatever. Um, but Prince is a guy who is 22 years old and um, you know, he's not a boomer. He's not on the decline. He's not on the back half of his career. Uh, and in summer of 2022, like we said here, he was second team LCK all pro 80 carry. And in summer of 2021, he was third team LCK all pro 80 carry. So last two years, he's been a top three 80 carry in the LCK. This seems like a guy kind of at the peak of his career or the prime of his career coming over to the LCS. Now, obviously part of the reason could be this LCS team looks very, very strong. They're going to have potentially, if all the rumors are true, uh, impact in the top lane, who is obviously very, very well respected over in Korea. Spika, uh, who's one of the top LCS players at his best. Vikla, going to potentially be the new mid laner. Then Ayla support as well. Maybe not as much known about him, but he's still one of the top prospects. So they could have a very, very strong team. Now, again, is FlyQuest shelling out a bunch of money? Or, or you know, salary's not great in the LCK right now? I don't really get it. Because this is a time where, in a lot of ways, the LCS is cutting back and downsizing and budget cutting and all that. So... How is FlyQuest able to pull these strings? Again, we don't know if Prince is going to be the guy or whatever, but it's either going to be, you know, Ruler, Prince, uh, Doc Dam, um, you know, one of these other, uh, Teddy, one of these other decently big named LCK 80 carries. Uh, and is it Papa Smithy pulling the strings here? Is it the FlyQuest money? Is it, you know, a little bit of everything? I don't know. But man, if all this gets done, FlyQuest has a chance to potentially be the best team in the LCS and maybe one of the best teams in LCS history, maybe the best team in LCS history. And that is pretty crazy. And this is on top of the 100 Thieves team, which is going to be interesting. TL is going to be interesting. C9 is going to be good again. I don't know. There is some LCS stonks. Uh, to be looking out for after all. And I'm starting to get a little bit excited. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hope I catch you in the next one. 